I'd like to recommend a few good edibles for people that are doing it tough in dry areas. First off, cassava. It's a tropical shrub and 800 million people depend upon this to produce leaves which are cooked like spinach and tubers which are used like potato. And then there's this, society garlic. Produces a wonderful flavoursome leaf for very little water. Every year in spring, when Brisbane is at its driest, I grow two natives, golden purslane and warrigal greens, and they're delicious and really productive. And then there are plants that float my boat. I love dragon fruit, and if you love dragon fruit, then it's not very far to the queen of the night, which also produces a delicious fruit. And a similar fruiting cactus is this, a puntia. The Apuntias produce Barbary figs, which are delicious and juicy. And you can use the pads as nopales, just like green beans. Now, while we're in Mexico, we might as well mention agaves. The larger growing varieties produce very big flower spikes. And before they open, they can be cooked rather like giant asparagus. And when the flowers open, they can be cooked, they can be turned into fritters, and of course, we mustn't forget tequila, which comes from the sap of the agave plant. In Africa, this plant is very commonly eaten by elephants. Now, this is a little variegated ornamental version, but you'll find this portulac area growing in almost every arid land garden, and cooked, they make a lovely spinach. So really, what I'm saying is, there is a range of things that you can grow with very little water, and some of them are hiding in full view. Music